Hi, I'm Christina Haftane from the Azure App Services team. I'm going to show you how to migrate a Java Tomcat application from a Linux server to Azure App Service using a tool called the Migration Assistant. All right, here I am on my Linux server. I'm running Tomcat here um, with a few different applications, including this pet clinic application. This application is connected to a MySQL database. Uh, that database already happens to be moved to Azure. Um, so my database is running in Azure. I'm really interested in moving the application to Azure as well. Now, there is some pretty good detailed documentation about how to look at a Java Tomcat application and make sure that it's, it's all set up and best practices for moving it to app service. But if you want to kind of just try it and see if it maybe just works, um, I strongly suggest going to appmigration.microsoft.com, clicking here on download and grabbing the migration assistant. Um, we have a version I'm going to show today on Linux that includes Java support. Um, we also have a version for Windows. So wherever you're running Tomcat, we can try and do this quick lift and shift for you. Now I've already got that running here on the machine. It's looking at my Tomcat server and I'm going to pick that pet clinic application that I just showed you. The first step is to do an assessment. A uh, couple of things we look for. One of them, uh, this warning that's coming up, is about the port on App Service. The only ports that are exposed are port 80 and port 443. So default Tomcat port of 8080, which is what my site is running under, is going to change after migration, and I might have to update clients to use the new port. Um, we also check for a couple of other things, configuration things that we know don't work. Um, and we'll also tell you if, for example, you're using a Java version that isn't going to work with this particular method of migration if it's not uh, version 8 or 11. It would still work on App Service, but you would have to migrate it a different way. Now, once I've done this assessment, uh, it's going to prompt me to log in. I've run through this tool one time before this, so you don't have to see me do the login. And you'll notice a lot of these drop downs are sort of pre-populated with the choices I picked on the last run through, so you don't have to see me making all these selections. I am going to send my information here to an Azure Migrate project, which is a nice one-stop shop to kind of keep track of the sites that I've assessed and migrated. Uh, but that's optional. These are the things that I really need here on Azure Options are the subscription, the name of the resource group that I'm going to move it, um, put my resources in, the app service plan, which is the set of machines where it's going to run. In this case, I'm going to reuse some that I already have running sites. I'm going to put this site on there too. Uh, and I'm going to call this site Migrate Pet Clinic Demo. That's all I need to start a migration. So at this point, it's going to go and create all those resources in Azure that I need. It's going to create a resource group if it doesn't already exist. It's going to create the app service plan if it doesn't already exist. And it's going to create the website um, using a uh, basically the uh, Java and Tomcat versions that are closest matched to what I have running here on this machine. Um, once that site is created, it's going to look at the local site. If it's running from a war file, it's going to grab that war file and deploy it. If it is not running from a war file, it's going to package it up as a war file and deploy that to the site. Um, and once it gets there, it'll take a few seconds to unpack it. And then it'll be running just the way it would be locally. All right, now, as I said, it could take a few seconds to unpack that. So rather than going to the site first, I'm going to show you a couple of these other links. This uh, manage your application in Azure portal, very handy. Obviously, the portal is a really good place to manage all of your resources in Azure. Um, they've done a lot of work. It's, it's very full featured, very easy to use. Um, and so once you've created your website, it's a really good place to go for any of your management needs, but also to look at some of the features um, that are available to you and to try those out. Um, you'll see a lot of things listed here in this menu that are kind of handy and you can try out right away. Um, there's also, if you chose to push information to a Migrate project, we link you directly to that Migrate hub. And of course, this is kind of a link to that very specific Tomcat guidance. So if you want to dig deeper or look into some of the specific things and best practice things, uh, you can go here as well. With that, let us go to the website. And there it is, the pet clinic application. Now it is running in Azure. That was all it took for me to move it. So 
if you have an application running on Tomcat uh, on Linux or Windows and you're interested in trying it out on App Service, I strongly suggest giving the App Service Migration Assistant a try and seeing how it goes. Thanks.